Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on how to make your own custom made mug. I did do a video in the past showing you guys how to make custom mugs using the baking method. So in this video, I want to show you another technique of sealing the image, which I'm super excited about. I feel like these mugs can make really great Christmas gifts. And if you want to, you can even create a side hustle creating custom mugs. You can sell it on Etsy, your own website, or any platform. But I do want to remind you, if you do decide to sell mugs and you find images online, to make sure that you have the rights to the images. There's a lot of sites that allow you to purchase the rights to the images and then you can sell them without having to worry about any legal problem. But other than that, I absolutely love this technique of sealing the image. I feel like it adds longevity to the images on the mug. And a lot of these mugs that I created using this technique, I've been having the mug for over like five years and it still looks brand new. So I'm really excited about showing you guys my technique of sealing these images to the mug. But other than that, let's get started. So first you wanna open up Canva. This is a free site. It's kind of alternative to Photoshop. And what you wanna do is open up a blank document and you can add your images on there. You can also use Word document and other sources that will allow you to add your images and resize them. But this is one of my favorite um, apps or websites to use to do that. You also wanna need some water slides, paper. I have a laser printer and if you have an inkjet, I have the link down below. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking about the type of printer I used in my last video. It is a inkjet. It's the HP Envy, one of my favorite printers. And the way you place it in the printer, you put it face down and it prints out on the right side. Uh, once your image is printed out, you are going to take your crystal clear acrylic spray and do a nice even coat on that layer of your page. I let mine dry about 15 to 20 minutes and then I go back in with a second coat and I repeat the step and I let it dry for a good 15 to 20 minutes and then it should look like this. And now you can see how nice and vibrant it is. Now, I have my mug out and then I have my um, paper towel with alcohol on there just to make sure that the lints and fibers are off my mug. I also have my resin. It's a two part um, system. So, you know, I'm going to leave the link down below for that. It also comes with the cup so you can measure and then the stir stick. And then I have a silicone brush. You can get that at pretty much every dollar store I've seen it at but I got mine from Dollar Tree. So now I am applying my resin in the the little cups that they gave you. And then um, I think I did about five milliliters if I am correct. And so I'm gonna do my two part and then I'm going to mix and stir. And just to let you guys know, five milliliters of this resin goes a long way. When I say it goes a long way, um, once you mix it together, that's basically like what, 10? And then you can use that on like 20 mugs because you don't need a lot to seal your images. And I'm gonna show you guys that in this video. So you wanna make sure that you stir your resin for a good three to five minutes and so next what i'm going to do is cut out my image i do have a cricut a lot of you guys have been asking to see me use my cricut as well i have plenty of videos where i'm going to be using my cricut and i'm going to do it in the next video but i know a lot of people don't have it when they see this video so that is an alternative is actually cutting it by hand so now i'm trying to figure out the placement of my image that's what I like to do before I actually dip it in my bowl of water. So I think I want it where the handle of the mug is going to be. And so once I figure that out, um, you're going to put your image in a bowl of water. I like to leave it in there for a good 15 seconds at the most. And I make sure that it's nice and soft because it's going to be easier to slide off. So I end up just taking my gloves off because it was actually a little hard to slide it off with my gloves that you can see it really doesn't fit my hand. So yeah, I end up taking my gloves off and then I take the backing of the water slide and I just slide it off from the back and it's really, really easy to do. 
and then you can see how I did it in the other video and I'm going to leave that video at the top. So yeah, you can still move it around while it's still wet and once you like the placement you can take your um, silicone brush and start brushing out the excess water making sure that it's all nice and dry, all air bubbles are out and it should look like this. Now I'm going to take my stir stick and I put a little bit of resin you guys. You see how little bit that is? That's a little bit. And you want to make sure that your gloves are actually fitted because you want to make sure that when you smooth out the resin that the glove is just not like bumpy and lumpy because it's not going to be smooth when you're trying to smooth it out with your hand. So I do suggest wearing a fitted glove, not this little baggy gloves that I'm wearing. But yeah, you want to take your glove and just take that one finger and just kind of smooth it out. And you're only putting a very little bit. I don't even do two layers. I do one because I feel like with one layer, um, that's just enough. That's all you need is just one layer. And I go around the image. You want to make sure you're slightly on the outside of the image because you're, you want to seal the image to the mug. If you only do it on the top of the image, it's not going to seal it onto the mug. It's just going to seal the image and just have it sitting there if that makes sense. So now you know like the image is stuck to the mug at this point. Anybody that use resin, you know how it works. It's, it's stuck to the mug at this point. Okay, you guys? So when you scrub it, when you scrub the image, like if you're washing it, it's stuck. It's not even going to scratch it. it it's amazing. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do one layer. I let it dry. And you can see like I did it. You probably can't see, but I did it around the image. So you want to make sure that you are a, on a very little part of the outside of the image to make sure that it's sealed to the mug as well. And you just repeat this step for all your mugs. And that's just it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. I have so many different techniques of how to make uh, custom mugs and how to use resin in different types of art projects. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I always answer any of the comments that you guys leave. And I'll be seeing you guys for next week for a new video. So make sure you subscribe. And I'm out. Bye.